Yeah. What's up, guys? Welcome to episode 13 of Live and Games Games Cast. I am Eric, alongside my good friends. We got Chris Setters. How about you? I'm good, man. How about you? Pretty good. Good. And to his right, we have Matty C. What's up, Matt? What's up? We've changed sides. I know. This is weird. We have. But it makes it, it feels like it's a lot better now because when I'm talking and I do the line, it's just down the line. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. it makes more sense this way. So for those that don't know, the Gamescast is where we talk about games and video game related things for about an hour. Um no structure at all, really. We just no. talk shit. Never. We, we just um, and we will never get Who shot. Who needs structure? <laughs> so, to start it off, we did this last episode, and I really liked how we started this off. And we're just going to talk about games that we've been playing lately. And, I mean, honestly, I don't have too much to say because I've been kind of taking a little bit of a hiatus. It's been weird. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've been playing a little. I've been dabbling a little bit of Mad Max and, you know, Need for Speed every now and then. But I haven't really been, like, I haven't sat down and, like, played anything since last time we recorded you know i i really haven't either i mean i've played a couple times but not like i really like i just haven't felt have. the urge like I, have, I don't feel the urge to do it right yeah. now you know and i mean I know, like, it's weird I, I just feel like i'm almost almost at the stage of burnout like how much i, I was feel like playing. i've been taking like a hiatus i'm like taking a hiatus like i, I just kind of dabble into like curb my withdrawals a little bit because mm. I feel like I should be playing something and then I'll start playing it and I'm like ah, I don't really feel like doing this let's yeah. let me watch Netflix exactly it. exactly yeah like, <laughs> I've been playing but like it's not, NHL like yeah that's like pretty much oh my god like I you got that and I've been wanting to play like I started <laughs> with the intention to play it for a long time and then mm-hmm. I like won't even get through a whole game and I'm like okay I'm good I've made it like this just shows like how much I've actually even played it like I've only made it two games in see I haven't I, I think it. I've made it one game after the games that I have been playing and stopped mm-hmm. halfway through because I get frustrated because I need to relearn how to play the game and yeah. I'm getting my ass kicked. <laughs> Even with the uh, the on ice trainer showing me where the like that yeah. is fucking cool. It, I like that. Yes, I like that aspect of that. I'm still just trying to figure out the controls. Like, well, that's how I am too. Because I'm like, okay, how do I do like a turn? It's and, like, so the damn advanced. And I'm like, Jesus! Like, and then like I, I get bumped halfway when I'm about to like you know do a spin move, mm-hmm. making a breakaway, and then all of a sudden, bam! I get hit slightly, and I'm my aim's all fucked off. Yeah. Or you know, like a stick just hits the puck just at the right time when I'm about to do a slap shot, and then I'm like, huh. Goddamn poke checks. Goddamn poke checks. <laughs> 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 but, like, even that, like, I still haven't finished Mad Max that I was talking about before. I want to. I just, I can't get into it. And with Metal Gear, like, I've I've got all the Mother Base places unlocked. All of them completed. All level 50s. Almost 60s now. And I'm just doing fucking work in that. So, like, when I, when I watch Netflix, I just keep that on. So I guess that's my game that I've been playing, but not really playing. Yeah. I'll just do like a mission here and there because I think I, Metal Gear works out for me right now, just for the fact of I don't want to play for a long time. And these missions are bite-sized enough t- to where I'll hop in, I'll play a mission, be like, okay, that's not a long mission, do it real quick, and then get out. And that's just been working so well right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel like that should be game of the year. No matter what, I don't care what anybody says. I, it makes me scared because I don't want to get in a game like The Witcher because uh, I don't have. To, I don't. It's, it's not that I don't have time. I just don't want to invest the time. Into, it's not a pick up and play game. No, it's not. <laughs> like because it They'll takes do a while one to mission, get used to, and then mm-hmm. an hour and a half later, you're like, "What was I doing?" <laughs> it, it takes a while to get used to the combat. First of all, but yeah, it's yeah, it's very hard. Like it, you have to really time it. And obviously, I'm a dumbass, and I'm playing it on like one of the hardest difficulties because I want to. And you know, a couple hits, and I'm almost dead. <laughs> and if if I pick the wrong quest, you know, hunting a monster, I'm fucked. Because then I'm trying to get the trophy with the uh, not using any potions and shit. Uh, so you can't have any type of advantage at all, and you have to beat it straight on. On top of me not getting used to the controls. Yeah, the long. game the game actually really changes on higher difficulties. Like I'm, I play the oh, game on God, normal, yeah, and when you rest, your potions refill. See, and that's the thing with this one. It well with the potions refill. Yes, when you like unlock it and you do it, but your health doesn't. Yeah. Unless you have like the one perk like leveling, and it does. Yeah. But you have to like not meditate. You have to actually. It's a constant thing. 
but other than that yeah it doesn't like you meditate because i know i played it uh played witcher 2 before and i played it on normal back then and yeah you meditate health goes back up this one i feel like i should do be able to do that and i can't and it pisses me off because it's like man now i gotta go eat some bread i gotta eat some you know drink some water drink water eat bread and apples and and then just have a whole bunch of just my quick bars so like when i'm in a battle like oh shit i'm almost dead let me eat an apple real quick don't fight me i'm cool Man, try doing that eating a werewolf just to keep lunging. <laughs> Tell me about it. Uh, it's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> and then, like, I want to play fucking Final Fantasy, and I still have... Like, I can't get into Like, I feel like it's an overload. Like, I get into it, and I'm I like, mean, it's an MMO, so it's like... Like... You have to be so, like, committed and devoted to when playing I, I, it. I load it so. up, and I'm like, I have all the intention to play the game. Like, seriously, I do. I have all the intention to play it, and then I load it up, and I walk two feet, and then I see all these quests that I'm supposed to do, and I'm like, I can't. I can't choose. I don't want to play this. Yeah, the, like, the, the way I did it, if I just wanted to, like, pick it up and play it for a little bit, is yeah. I would, like, I would, like, organize it. I'd be like, all right, I'm going to do everything in this area, and we're good. <laughs> I'll, I'll feel better about dropping well, the game. Well, that's how I was doing before, but, like, even then, like, I feel like I'm overwhelmed because it's like, that's a lot of shit I got to do. Yeah. I can't. I don't want to do it. Like, yeah, like I'm almost a twenty, <laughs> and it like irritates me because like I wanna, I wanna level up and I wanna play it, but now my just, free trial is about to expire, and then I'm like, I'm not gonna renew it until I feel like playing it. Right, right man. Once you hit like forty in that game, it's uh, it's amazing. And I, I like, in, and I, yeah, I know that it's gonna be like you know really good when I get higher up. That's in the middle, though. Yeah, that's with well, that's with Final Fantasy in general. And yeah. <laughs> At least I don't think that's going to be the case with uh, Final Fantasy 15, though. No. Like, that's gonna, like, the they, combat was uh, so fucking good. They confirmed a 2016 release yeah, date. I was actually really so. surprised about that. Let alone, like, shit, I mean, we're talking about games, and I don't think this is anybody's topic, and stop me if it is, but Final Fantasy 7, the remake, episodic. I know. I... I don't know what to think about that because they said like it's gonna contain like a full fledged game. I've never played seven, and I feel like this may be my best entry into playing it because I don't I didn't like that type of gameplay. It's still gonna be Final Fantasy seven, but they said they've added but the gameplay like gameplay is gonna be like Final mm, Fantasy fifteen. Yeah, they're they're basically basing it off fifteen's gameplay. And it looks um, fantastic. It's using Unreal Engine four. But like I'm wondering how that's gonna work like. I know Final Fantasy VII was a huge game, but why break like why break up an RPG like that into an episodic game? Like that makes no sense to me, and I it's, don't know how they would do that. It's stupid. I mean, they said like I feel like they're just milking it, or if anything, I want to say that they're doing this for the simple fact of they can get these games out quicker. That's kind of what he said. Is like I want it out. Everybody wants it out. You've been waiting years for it, so. Plus, he said that... Um, I, I was surprised of how much they've shown already, because I thought the game yeah. hasn't even been fucking made yet. Well, that that's the other thing, too. He's, they they said the game's, like, done, and they're, like, polishing stuff, so... No, that was... I thought that was 15, not oh. 7. Yeah, that was, that was 15. Okay, so it was... Yeah, 15 I knew it, it was a Final Fantasy game, but I didn't know if it was 7 Yeah, no, they, they just confirmed that, that 15 is playable from start to finish, and now they're just polishing, which is fucking awesome. Yeah. Like, I, I can't wait to play that game. Yeah. But, yeah, like, 7, like... I don't know. Like, I really, like, I remember, like, last year, well, this year at E3, when they announced 7, like, the one guy didn't even know that they were even making 7, they said. Remember that? Oh, yeah. Like, he was like, oh, I didn't even know I was directing 7. Like, we didn't know what it was. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's kind of funny, because if you think about it, it took this long. They've been so secret about it. True, but, like... Even if they, they were doing it, so... Like, from my impression, they hadn't even started on it yet, like, when they first announced it. Like, they oh. only did, like, CG shit, I thought. But apparently, I mean, nah, they've been kicking ass. Yeah. <laughs> like, surprisingly. I mean, obviously, what we saw was, like, a vertical slice, and they just worked on that. But I feel like they just Still wanted to show that. Still awesome. <laughs> yeah, true. But, I mean, Watch Dogs looked awesome in the vertical slice. Too. Yes. Let's not get into that. Let's not, <laughs> let's not compare apples to oranges here. Well, I mean, it is Square Enix, so we won't see that game until 2020 anyway. <laughs> Nah. This is like with uh, and it's like first party the, uh, Square Enix, the one game that's in hiatus. <laughs> uh, the Last Guardian. No, not that one. I'm talking. I mean, about that's coming out now, but in, uh, Square Enix game, the fucking um, 
Kingdom Hearts. Oh God! Don't mm. even get me started. I want it so bad, but good <laughs> lord! How long has that game been in like production? Bring it the a fuck lot. out! I remember hearing about them starting that game like five years ago. They're like, "We're doing it. We're doing. Don't worry, we're doing it." I'm like, are you? And how many fucking remake? Well, not remakes, but like remasters have they done to like help anticipate? There's the game still one coming out. Like, they're they're putting two point eight on PS4. <laughs> what, what? How do they come up with these names? Two point eight. It, I I don't know. Like, like, where's the eight from? I have no idea. Was there seven other iterations of the the fucking game? The only thing they've added to this to this one is it's got two. It's got birth, it's, like it's got birth graphics. by sleep, uh, and then like another one. But what they do with them is they like the third I'm game. I'm surprised they is all not gonna remaster like one and two and be like one point eight, one uh, two point eight, two point eight. 2.13. Right. <laughs> Dream drop distantly. Like, it is kind of stupid how they're not putting the first one on PS4. I'm like, okay, so you're like, going to deprive people of the first game? Like, I would play it. And first I don't game wanna, is phenomenal. Like, and I don't want to like go into this new game not knowing what's going on. Like, if they're I not going to... But, like, I just... I don't if know. they're not going to do the first game, they better do a synopsis for people who have never played the first one. You would think. Because there's a lot of new PlayStation players out there, and they're like, oh, sweet, yeah, Kingdom Hearts. It's crazy. Like, I, I, I really don't understand, nor do I kind of want to understand, to be honest with you. And they're not putting in X, they're not putting 2.0 on Xbox One, and they're putting 3 on Xbox One. It's, they're being weird about it. I don't know. They are. The only, the only thing that I can think of is why they're taking so long is because Disney bought out two companies since they've started production on this game. So you could honestly, I don't think it's going to happen, but what if, like, what if we see star Wars in it? I want to so bad, but I don't think it's going to happen. Think I think happen. it's all going to be Disney, but they've got Marvel and star well, Wars I mean, now, now. So technically is Disney, but I don't think that's going to happen now. It was easy with Disney Infinity because it's like it's, it's just not like a, a story based yeah, game or anything. Yeah. So even though they did add like a story type thing into it, I heard did they? Yeah. Okay, like I got I got my nephew three point oh for Christmas, yeah. but I still haven't seen. I it. I still don't understand the point of like Disney Infinity that much. To be honest with you, I hate Skylanders so much. Not because of like I, I, that's the one I really don't understand. Skylanders. What the fuck point of, of that game? Is? I, like, I don't know. I don't, I don't hate it like for like what it is i hate it for where it came from because it's spyro spyro was amazing and like look Wait, at, that's supposed to be spyro? it's spyro seriously it's fucking spyro because if you look at the first skylanders like spyro is in it it's a spyro the dragon thing like that's where spyro's at now <laughs> well so much for a remake of fucking spyro <laughs> yeah like they might do it since skylanders is so damn popular but that just really pissed me off. Right? Why. Like that that's what I said. Like I don't hate the game for what it is. I hate for, I hate the game because of where it came from. Yeah. It's not Spyro anymore. It's depressing. Fuck that. Like the only Toys Life game I like is Lego. Because it's yeah. Legos. It's, right. That's so awesome. I'll invest in it someday. Like I, I feel bad though because I got the fucking Xbox version and I want the fucking PS4 version now. And I can't use this because it's the Xbox portal. Oh, uh, that's kind of lame. Dumb, like, uh, yeah, Xbox is dumb because, like, you can't take it from the Xbox to the PlayStation. That's lame. You, you should... can, like, if you got, like, a PS3 version of, like, this and you got the Xbox, well, not the Xbox, but the um, PS4 version, you could use it. And you're fine. And the Wii version. So it's a Sony, it. so Microsoft. It's Xbox. Can you use... Uh, Sony version on the Xbox. No, because Microsoft okay. requires All right. the price of uh, whatever. The, well, fuck the, them. You know, just <laughs> licenses bullshit. Yeah, fuck them. So yeah, that makes me mad because I'm like, I want to. That's totally, dumb. You should you just know, be able. To, you should just have to buy software because yeah. like you could have you could have all that stuff. And then one on another system, and then like, oh, cool! They're having a sale on the so on the digital download of the, of the game, God, the which fucking, I've which I've seen. The fucking Sony digital sale though. Holiday sale. That was so awesome. That was that was a good one. They're getting to be like Steam. No, they're not. No, they're they're coming though. It's it's not there. Maybe in a couple of years when we've got gradually when we've got like a whole like store so, worth of speaking of that sale, like me and my friend, like we were about to like we were going to make a bet and I should have betted him because I would have won this. 
because I recently got that uh, the Evil Within like on Amazon for like ten bucks. I I really liked the Evil Within. But I got it like the disc version, obviously. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, he's like, "Why did you do that?" Because it was like right before the holiday sale, and I'm like, "Well, I didn't think that it was gonna be on the holiday sale, and I don't know. Like I wanted to play it for a little bit just now." And he's just like, "Oh, you shouldn't have done that. You know, it's gonna be in the holiday sale. I bet you anything." And he was going to bet me the price of whatever like you know the game was if it wasn't on it and i was like no because i i really just didn't feel like buying anything if i was wrong <laughs> yeah <laughs> i should have too like like week two goes by and it's still not on there i'm like damn it i should have fucking bet i should have betted him and then like the last week too i'm like fuck me it's not on there i could have fucking won that i should have stuck with my guns because i knew that that fucking game wasn't going to be on there pretty happy with the two that i got Huh? I was pretty happy with the two that I oh, got. Oh, God, I'm happy with the one I got. <laughs> well, two, technically, because I think yeah. Mad Max was a part of that sale. Was it? Yeah, it was like 28 bucks or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was the Damn, first It was the man, first week. That shit. Yeah, it was the first week. Well, I mean, you have it now. Hmm. That's it. Technically, you have it now. Yeah. But. but yeah. yeah. It's. Oh, God, it's so good. Anyways, moving hmm. on. Just moving on. Matt, what's your topic? Oh, I was gonna say like what I've been playing. Huh? I didn't really oh, say what I was. I know. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well then, tangents. Hey, damn it. Tangents. Tangents. We went on a long tangent there. Yeah. <sighs> Anywho, right. pretty much what you just said. I've kind of been on a hiatus, at least this week, but um, I I have been playing Game of Thrones like crazy. I I think I'm good, about I'm about to. Play the last episode is what I'm on, and I'm I've heard that, like, really, really enjoying it. I really didn't know that it changed that much, but it does kind of change. Like the ending does kind of change a lot. Like because my one friend just beat it, and he told me what happened, and I'm like, seriously, it was a lot better outcome than what I had. Mine was really? shit. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I. <laughs> I'm serious. Mine was so bad. I'm like, That's funny. Really? Well, it, it wasn't like you know awful, but it was kind of like depressing. Sad. Did you fuck over the foresters? <laughs> I kind of did. Like I thought I was doing good. I need to reevaluate my decisions in fucking choice based games. Um, my downfall was fucking uh, yeah. until dawn. I was good in fucking heavy rain though, and I was good on Beyond Two Souls. Huh. So I just, I guess I can't do Telltale games anymore That's or uh, other choice based games. <laughs> But yeah, I'm I'm going to move right on to Tales from the Borderlands oh, God, after that. So good. I'm I need really to liking that. Telltale games right well, actually, now. What am I talking about? I finished that. That was good. Yeah, but um, yeah, other was, than that, I just dude, I haven't been playing much of anything. I I actually I just started watching Arrow and I like marathon See, season 1 this week. Was, everybody's been wanting it's me to watch it. Fucking sick, I dude. I'm in love with it now, dude. I marathon season 1 this week. I'm like this is amazing. It's almost like they drop so much surprising shit on you. It's like slow the fuck down. Let me breathe for a second. See, like- I need to watch that. Like, I've been wanting to. Yeah, Gotham, Gotham too. Gotham's dope. Yeah, but oh yeah, God. dude. Like I watched the first episode of season two last night, and I'm like, this is Arrow's amazing. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna have to watch it now. Arrow's really I'm good. Arrow, it yeah. It's Arrow's just good. like fucking archery. Like watching them fight. Like archery's ridiculous. <laughs> I never oh thought I'd God. be so into like <laughs> a fight with bows and arrows. Like right. it's amazing. Yeah. I'm they are gonna, fucking ninjas with arrows. I'm gonna have to check that it's, out. But yeah, definitely, definitely start start playing fucking Tales of the Borderlands. Yeah. Oh like, my god, I, that, that's the funniest Telltale game ever. If anything, everybody says <laughs> that's what everybody says. Like, if anything, for this game, it's hilarious. It's it's fucking good. Like, and I want to say, even though it's the funniest one, I feel like it's the best one because the story was so fucking good and yeah. so fucking hilarious. Like, it just yeah. every episode made you laugh so fucking hard. Yeah. Um, just with the, and then it just felt like Borderlands. Every opening, good fucking soundtrack. Like, just every opening had like you know the, the music going and like slow motion of something happening. It was great. Um, it was super great. Yeah, you were talking about Amazon getting Evil Within on Amazon. I actually just got a book on Amazon. Yeah. It was on sale. It was like fifty bucks. Got it for like twenty. What book was fifty bucks. The Art of Fallout Four. Oh. Dude, it's like it's like that. It's like the Bible of Fallout Four. <laughs> um, it was like it, it's like a fifty dollar book, and it was on sale for like twenty five. I'm like, I'm getting that. Damn, that's. I bad. just got it today, and it's, it's so awesome. If you like, there's and like you an, didn't bring it. I know. I oh, I wow. didn't bring it. 
See, I see I'll bring it is. next time, but they have like in the Should back. Like a fucking show and tell. But no, right. I know, <laughs> man. Oh, it's so fucking <laughs> awesome. But uh, in the back, they have like an index of like items in the game. And the last few pages is they have all the magazines from the game like on display. And like some of them are like whole pages for the front cover of the magazine. And they have like back covers. Awesome. It's so Damn. cool. It's so fucking cool. That is pretty awesome. But uh, I had to get that. And then I like, I used a 30 day free trial to Prime. So. I got it in like two days. <sighs> you just need to invest in Prime. Everybody needs Prime to invest is great. Prime. If you like, if you feel like you're gonna buy one or two things off Amazon within a month I time span, pays for it. Just get Prime, and then you have fucking Amazon Instant Video, and that's actually yeah, really good. True. Yes, mm-hmm. like super good. It's mm-hmm. fucking Entourage on there. I started watching that. I've never. I've watched never Entourage. seen Entourage. It's actually really good. I'll talk more about that later. 